What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of what I learned this week. And today I'm just going to I'm going to spitball a few life update things cuz uh people say to me I wish we could uh, hear and see more about you. Um I was doing the young rich and beautiful vlog for a bit and uh we got bogged down with how much content I wanted to create. So we didn't actually get to put a lot of that stuff out. And I'm a very different person. Um when I was doing young rich and beautiful I was very like I don't know. I I was I was doing a lot of acid and mushrooms. So that kind of like it did it, it had its effects. <laughs> let's let's leave it at that. Um if you want to ask me about that, I'm happy to talk about it cuz it was it was an interesting experience. Um so uh the first thing is my fitness goals. Yeah, shout out to Elliot. Elliot Rendell. We did a podcast um last week. We recorded it. I posted it on my channel already. Um we we'll put it up over here somewhere. Um the podcast I did with Elliot was great and I've been wanting I've been meaning to get him in here uh, to be a guest on my podcast because uh, I've learned so much from him. The way he gets down as an individual inspires me to get down in a similar way. He's got his fitness goals. He he he's very on point with that stuff. For me, I was always skinny fat for a long time, right? which means like I had a little pot belly and uh basically no no muscles. And uh that's not how I wanted to live, you know, like having a high body fat percentage uh is there's a lot of things that a lot of problems that come with that. So as an individual me personally I'm not trying to push this on anyone else but me personally um I didn't want to impose those conditions and problems on myself I didn't want to have um diabetes I didn't want to have heart problems I don't want to be massively overweight I want to look great it's just something I want now in the past it wasn't In the past I wanted to be muscular so that it would give me feelings. I wanted to be I wanted to my body to look a certain way and my my face to look a certain way and my hair and everything to get good feelings from those the effects that come from that. But the funny thing is now that I don't have those misunderstandings anymore, now that I can deeply see my feelings aren't going to come from that, I'm hitting my goals more. I have dropped a massive amount of body fat in the last 2 months. maybe more and it's and I'm gaining muscle as well these are my fitness goals by the way I'm not trying to put this on anyone um and what I think the main difference is before there was a lot riding on it oh well you know I um I would question my worth oh do I not re- like love myself enough to eat healthy that doesn't need to be a part of it that's just extra thoughts I don't need that <laughs> I don't need to like do anything with that I don't need to do some fucking healing on this it's very simple But simple doesn't mean easy. It's just simple, right? So Elliot, my trainer, he would say to me, "Okay, Sachin, eat the macros that I've suggested for you. Once you've been doing that for a while, we can tweak." But I was just eating pizza whenever I feel like it. I'll eat ice cream. I'll eat pizza. Like it's easier. And I asked myself one day, "Is it actually easier? Is it actually easier for me to do those things?" Well, let me put it to the test. So for one week, I bought these like plastic containers, right? and I was meal prepping so I would put the I'd get um seven portions of rice weighed out put them in the fridge I'd chop up all the broccoli the sweet potato um weigh out all the portions put those in the fridge um and I would eat my meals according to oh and like I'd make a big pot of beans for example I'd freeze it all and um I'd defrost it on the day that I want to eat it and I just said okay for the next 7 days these are my th- three meals a day um let's just go with that let's see what happens let's put it to the test is it actually easier for me to eat whatever i want all the time or is it easier for me to do this meal prep thing and eat the macros and after a week i realized something fascinating it takes way more time effort energy and money to eat whatever i want all the time there's so much thought that goes into it what do i feel like eating your feelings don't matter they're not important they don't have any meaning I could feel like eating M&Ms right now and still not do it. Like that this is the big thing that changed for me. I've changed my relationship to the thoughts that go through my head. I still want to eat pizza, but it just doesn't look as convincing anymore. I still want to like uh acid for example. I mentioned I was doing a lot of acid and mushrooms. I still want to do it, but the thoughts aren't that convincing anymore because something has clicked. And that's why the results are showing me you know like uh, showing themselves to me is like the thing that clicked was it's actually not easier to to do whatever like to do what i feel like doing 
Because then I've got to check my emotional temperature all the time. Do I feel like going to the gym? Do I feel like meal prepping? Do I feel like cutting the broccoli? I mean, if if you want something, but your the your actions to get it are based on your temporary feelings, and they get in the way of you doing the things you need to do to have what you want, then you don't really want it. I'll give you a good example. Let's say you're dating someone, and um, they say uh, you say, "Hey, like, can we have a monogamous relationship? Let's be exclusive just to each other." And they say, "I want that." And then one day they're like, you see that, or like they say, oh yeah, I had sex with Stephanie. Um, and you're like, what the fuck? I thought we agreed to, well, yeah, yeah, I thought you said you want a monogamous relationship. Yeah, I want it, but I felt like having sex with Stephanie. Like, what the fuck is that? No, you don't want a monogamous relationship. <laughs> then I had to put that on myself. What do I want? Okay, I want to look a certain way. Why do I want that? Because I just, I like the way that looks. It's like tattoos. I just, I like the way it looks. So I want to have it. Well, with tattooing, it's a lot easier. You just pay the money, sit in the chair. There you go. With fitness goals, it's very different. It's like entrepreneurship. You're going to be putting in a lot of work and seeing minimal return in the short term, but you'll see a lot of gains in the long term. And that's what happened. I just simplified the process. I started really asking myself, well, what do I really want? Okay, if I really want that, these are the things I've got to do. And I can act on these things independently of how I feel. I'm reading more books. I woke up the other day at four o'clock in the morning and I made a new song. And it starts off with someone asking me, uh, what time have you been up since uh, today, Sachin? So Sammy, if you could do me a favor and ask me that question. Okay, go on. What time Can, did you wake up today? I've been up since four in the morning. I've been up since four in the morning. I've been up since four in the morning. Four in the morning. Four in the morning. That was my song. Song, yeah. I made that song up because of how gassed I was to be up. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and I didn't mean to. Yeah, it wasn't a scheduled thing. I'm not trying to be cool and part of the 5 a.m. club. Right. It just happened one day. I read my books. I've finished uh, Well, I'm, I'm doing an assignment that I needed to do. My coach set me an assignment. Uh, I was very productive in creating value for people. I created some content. I was talking to people. I scheduled some calls. I got a lot of admin shit done. From 4 until 8 in the morning I got half a work day done Before the sun even fucking came up And it's because I really deeply seeing I can act independently of how I feel It doesn't have to limit me It doesn't have to do anything It doesn't have to be a thing oh, I feel like slapping someone I feel like masturbating I feel like having sex I feel like eating a cheeseburger So what? It's a great question to ask myself because because like with, with my fitness goals, nothing was happening for ages because my temporary feelings, I was taking them too seriously. That was it. I don't feel like going to the gym. I can still go and not feel like going. I, like that, It clicked really clearly for me recently. I've never had a problem with go turning up and doing the workouts. My problem was, can I eat in a way that's conducive to that? And the answer for a long time was no. But now it's different. And in a couple of months time, yeah, I'll show you the progress pictures if you want to see them. I don't really give too many fucks about that. I'm just happy for me doing this stuff. And I'm doing it for another reason, right? There's a word that I think is very, very important. The word is integrity. You know what? I'm going to Google the fucking definition of this word so that we can have a gay old time reading this. Uh, <laughs> all right. So the Dictionary definition of the word integrity means the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Yeah, that's cool, yeah, but we're not looking at that definition. Here's the, this is the definition that actually means something. The state of being whole and undivided. Now I'll say it one more time. The state of being whole and undivided. Uh, not divided, yeah? So... How this hits me is I called myself out. I was way out of integ integrity. I want something, but I'm like at war with myself about doing it. Oh, I want to have a good body. I want to work out. I want to be in integrity with the word that I'm speaking. I, if I'm coaching people, what the fuck kind of coaching is it for me to self-sabotage all the time? Yes, I, you can relate. I, I, I can relate to everyone who does it because I do it in different areas. But what kind of example am I setting as a coach? What kind of example am I setting as a coach if, if I'm not living my word? And it's, I'm not going to live it all the time. I fuck up sometimes. We all do. I called one of my clients one day and I said, look, um, I know it's, it's out of order. I'm going to be a bit late to our call. 
I'm happy to extend the time of our call and we or we can reschedule. It happens sometimes. I'll clean up my word when I don't keep it. I said when and not if, because it happens. But the integrity thing is very important. These things that I want can cause division in myself. I want to be a successful entrepreneur. I also want to have loads of fun right now. I want to be successful in this thing. I'm not putting the work into it. I want to have the body I want to have. I'm not eating in a way that's conducive to that. These things are not whole. Yeah, this, there's no integrity in that. The integrity comes from when I bring everything together and make it whole. For example, with the food. Again, relating into my fitness journey. Um, it, it, it's a whole cohesive thing. I'll allow myself to eat certain things, but make sure it, if it's in alignment with what I want. And that's why I see with a lot of things in our lives, we're out of integrity. This isn't a judgment thing. Yeah? I'm not here to play the, you know, the, the judge, the moral judge, you know, oh, you're doing something bad. Fuck that. It's not helpful. I want to point this thing out because a lot of us are out of integrity with things that we say we want. And that's very frustrating for us, not for anyone else. No one else is going to give a shit. But if you're frustrated with, I don't have what I want yet, this piece about integrity is very important. And here's the other thing. Integrity is not an optional thing. It's not a nice to have. It's like oxygen. That's why when we don't have it, we start feeling fucked. I want to say it one more time. Yeah? Integrity is not optional. It's not a fucking nice thing to have. Oh, this is cool. It's oxygen. When you don't have oxygen, your, li your, your life gets fucked. Same with integrity. If you're out of integrity, it's not a good feeling. No one likes letting people down and not living up to their word. Starts, it starts at home in you And so this is why I really like I've seen this so clearly now I'm looking back at my earlier fitness journey And seeing well it's just stemming from me Being out of integrity with myself I say I want something I'm not doing the things necessary to create it Okay I don't need healing I don't need to work on it I don't need to go and talk about in my past This happened I don't I can dig up all the childhood beliefs Of years of abuse I can say oh I never felt good about myself because, you know, when I was being abused, X, Y, Z. That, yeah, you can, you can make that a part of this. But it, I'm just here to say it doesn't have to be like that. The most, the massive, massive gains that are made are made here right now. The past only exists in my thoughts. I can act independently of a past right now. I can choose to be different right now. So looking in that direction, or I need to heal my past before I do something, is you're looking in the wrong direction. You're whole and complete right now. The past doesn't have anything to do with you unless you make it so. And yes, there are unconscious choices we're making about ourselves today that come from the past. I'm just saying they don't need to. They don't need to have, like your, your choices today can rewrite what the rest of your life is going to look like. How about that for a strong note to end on? I'm happy with that. Um, this episode is, uh, I'm going to start doing more stuff like this and update you on how I'm living and what I'm doing and how things are progressing for me. I'm going to be in Athens at the end of March throughout April. And then I'm coming back to England in the beginning of May. And then I'm heading back out somewhere in June. I would like your suggestions. Where shall I try out as future digital nomad locations for me to run my coaching business from? I don't know. Uh, I'm interested. I'd love to hear what you have to suggest. And uh, I'd love to hear what you get from our conversation today. Again, like last time, give me one insight you got from the conversation and one action you're going to take based on this insight that you got. And if you're willing to do that, put it in the comment section. It will help you get more out of this conversation and so that you don't treat it just like another piece of free content. Because this stuff that I talk about, you're not going to find it elsewhere. It's not about, I'm not saying that to big me up. I'm just saying, do something with it. That's why I want to put this stuff out here. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Peace.